We don't know. We can't hear it. <laughs> All these questions come into play. And we'll get our answers in a moment here between The Undertaker and Gold Digger. And we're off. Oh, my. Immediate slugfest between these two. Oh, holy shit. The impact knocked him and the ref out. Gold Digger fights out of it. Big clothesline of his own. The ref gets back up. Oh, and quickly to the fucking left. Oh, Holy wow. shit, what a right. Uh-oh. I just kick him in the butt. Yep. He got his ass kicked, literally. <laughs> oh. Vicious kicks. He's not playing around. But Gold Digger has to realize that he has to beat the guy in the ring. He better get him in there. If he wants to win the title, he may win the match, but not the title. I can't stop staring at this guy's ankles. I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> I think those are just neon <laughs> color in his boots. I think they're just logos that shouldn't be there and they're just blurred out. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh oh. Start off to seven. Oh, any trip. Come on. Get in the ring. I thought, I thought they this. were just radioactive from being in Ohio. It's a possibility. I mean, anything can Oh, they can just happen. bitch slapped him. Wow. Uh-oh. These guys better get the fuck in. It's over. Oh, they don't even care about the title. It's just a beatdown. Uh, uh, I think that was oh. a dodge of some sort. I don't know. I don't know. I get, apparently, the count's up to 20. I'm so used to 10. Yeah. 12. Okay. Yeah, we're on Japanese rules, guys. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep. All right. Main event is different rules. Gold Digger working on the legs. It's probably one of the smartest things, as you gentlemen know. Undertaker does that old school. And a fucking, holy shit, RVD in the house. It's Gold Digger. Oh, my God. And a 10, cover. Two. Oh, a heartbeat. God. Black T, I'm going to ask you this. Since you're the most analytical of the bunch, what is it going to take for Gold Digger to actually win this match? How much How much does he want this? I mean, he's worked very hard for this, this matchup just to get to this point. We haven't seen it, but, I mean, it must have been some hard politicking in the back. <laughs> and to study an opponent such as The Undertaker, I mean, he has to have the will to take on such an enormous threat. Absolutely. Well, again... You don't have to be a very good wrestler. You just have to be the heart and fucking soul of a goddamn fucking uh, company or whatever in order to get a number one contendership. Then you also have to be just the creator and not win anything to get a That's number true. one contender spot. Now, I have a question. Do you think that helmet he wears aids him in absorbing that blow? Well, it doesn't obviously matter. That is your no, it does not matter. Over. The Undertaker is one. Your <laughs> question no. is meaningless. Good timing. Let's take a look at these replays. Rolling thunder. All right. Oh man. That was just. Oh crap. <laughs> what do you think of that, Black T? Oh my god. <laughs> wow, that was perfect timing. Oh, oh man. Oh. Fucking. What a great five-minute match! You know, it was all, it was all that was cracked up to be and more. That's all we need. Five minutes. Five minutes in out. And then Here it is. The big Taker's trying to go home. And another dead body can be chalked up, thanks to the Undertaker. Wow. I love this theme. <laughs> and still champion. Still Joey Styles champion. He carries the Joey Styles action figure belt to a T. Ever since he won it at his Rumble, he's been carrying it with pride. Up to the heavens, Paul Bear, look what I won, a Joey Styles. Wait, 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 wait a second. Who's this? Oh, wait. my God. It's, oh, no, come Tuesday. Oh, that's Holy shit. It's Von Wagner. How did he get slap. to the arena? Oh, and oh, oh my God. Oh, here. 
Veer is coming. Oh, oh no, my no. goodness, Veer oh, came. Oh. oh my God, someone said it three times. Oh shit, it's the Veer driver, whatever. Looks like, looks like the ring is now very sticky. Well. <laughs> and he just leaves. Uh, that's... And Veer wins, I guess? No. I mean, Veer put him out. You KO'd him. What in the fuck was all that shit? <laughs> Can someone explain this to me? Bro, what was that, man? I Veer no... finally came. As an announcer, I need to know what's going came. to happen before it happens. Oh my god. I tell you, that was <laughs> holy <laughs> shit. What do you think about that, guys? Fucking was it everything that you imagined? Was it everything that you wanted in a match? Was Veer and Von Wagner the surprises that you deserved? Let me know your thoughts. Let's start out with the Brian Wright. It was everything I wanted it to be and a little bit more. That's what I'm talking about. Rylon? Yeah, I'm not cleaning up the ring. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, end a. I felt like uh, it was a. Oh, Austin K got, got screwed. That's all I need to know. All right. And my friend, Black T, what are your thoughts, man? It, I mean, I have, I have no, nothing else to say. Everything that's been said has uh, encapsulated my uh, opinions entirely. Well, I, I strongly agree with you, gentlemen. I think that was uh, one of the wildest endings we saw. I, I don't know what Von Wagner was doing out there, and I don't know what Veer was doing out there. All I know is that it came this Tuesday, even though I think it's a Wednesday, and then Veer came out of nowhere. He was coming. And he came. Perfect. And that's the end of the show. See you next time. Okay, we're done. (laughs) Ah, shit. You can come out now. He was coming and he came. (laughs) (laughs) And see. (laughs) Oh, did he leave again? I don't know.